Welcome back students. Uses of dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is used to one convert a physical quantity from one system of unit to another system of unit. Two, to check the dimensional correctness of a given physical equation. Third, to establish a relation among various physical quantities. There are three important applications of dimensional analysis. The first one is convert a physical quantity from one system of units to another system, like converting from SI to CGS. Check the dimensional correctness of a given physical equation. Suppose if I say force is equal to mv, you say it is wrong. Force equals ma. Like that, you can easily find uh, whether the given equation is correct or not dimensionally by using this analysis. The next establishing a relation that we will be seeing at the end of this session. So first, let us learn about convert a physical quantity from one system of unit to another system of unit. Here we have n1, e1 equal to n2, u2. n1, n2 are the numerical values of the physical quantity in first and second system of unit. u1, u2 are the dimensional formula formula in first and second system of unit. The product of n1, u1 is constant. Suppose I say 4 meter, that will be equal to 400 centimeter. Lesser the unit, larger the uh, numerical value. This we have seen it. So we will go with substituting the value of u1 here, the dimensional formula of the physical quantity in the SA system, like m1, a, l1, power b, t1 power c. So u2 is the dimensional formula of the same physical quantity in the CGS system. The power would be same, but uh, m2, l2, t2. So in SA system, the m stands for kilogram, l stands for meter, t stands for second. In CGS system, m stands for gram and l2 stands for centimeter and t stands for second. So that you have to understand. So now we have to go with n1, n1 equal to n2, m2 by m1 to the power a and L2 by L1 to the power B and T2 by T1 to the power C. So this is how we can find the value of uh, one physical quantity in other system of unit. Suppose uh, let me go with a small simple example. Here I write N2 equal to 1 Newton and I didn't know what is N1. So let me write in CGS the unit of uh, unit of uh, force is dyne, right? So let me check now. So n1 equal to, in the place of n2, let me write n2. m2, you know that it is uh, in SA system, it is kg and L2 is in meter and T2 is in second. So you come down, m1 is gram and L1 is centimeter and T1 is second. So if you cancel this, okay, you get 1. And if you cut this centimeter and meter, you get 100. And you cut gram and kilogram, you get 1000. So the value of N1, the value of N1 become 10 power 5. So what you understand, so 1 Newton equal to 10 power 5 dyne. This is what a very simple way of converting uh, a value of one uh, physical quantity in one system of unit to the another system of unit. So let us go for the second uh, important one. So check the dimensional correctness of a given physical equation. So here we are given uh, a simple V equal to U plus AT. We are going to check whether this equation is dimensionally correct or not. What is the dimensional formula for final velocity? It is LT power minus 1. What is the dimensional formula of initial velocity? It is the same LT power minus 1. And acceleration it is LT power minus 2. And for time it is T. So we go with a very simple idea. The dimensional formula of velocity is LT power minus 1. That is the first term. The the dimensional formula of the uni initial velocity u is the same lt power minus 1. We go for the third term at. The dimensional formula of at is lt power minus 1. So each term in the equation uh, has the same dimensional formula. This is what we call it as uh, homogeneity, principle of homogeneity of dimension. So all the terms on both sides of the equation have the same dimension. So this equation is dimensionally correct. So let us go for the next one.
So here we need to establish a relation among various physical quantity. So let us go with a small example. So the escape speed depends upon two important uh, uh, factors. One is the acceleration due to gravity. The second one is the radius of the earth. So let us form a equation. So V equal to K times G A and R power B. And the K is a proportionality constant, which is not having any dimensions. Let us remove this. Uh, from our analysis on the left hand side we have lt power minus 1 on the right hand side for g it is lt power minus 2 to the power a and for radius it is length l power b so let us bring all l term and a t term separately so we have on the left hand side as it is lt power minus 1 and on the right hand side we bring all l term uh, together so l power a plus b then t power minus 2b now we have to equate the power of t now so that will be simple. When you equate the power of t, we get minus 2a equal to minus 1. So a equal to 1 by 2. Okay, we got it. Then let us go with the power of l. The power of l says a plus b equal to 1. Right in the place of a, let us substitute 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus b equal to 1. So b equal to again 1 by 2. So we go back to the original equation v e. We get <coughs> v e equals k times root of g r. The value of k, you no. Know, the value of k can be found only by experiment that is equal to root 2. So escape speed will be equal to root 2 gr is the final equation. Thank you.